All right, get ready to see vehicles without a driver in one part of Jacksonville. Today, a new autonomous shuttle was unveiled at Florida State College Jacksonville's downtown campus. Students can now travel to class that way. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris got a first look at the shuttle of the future. Vehicles operating automatically were once just an idea, but now it's a reality at FSCJ's downtown campus. We're grateful and so fortunate to be part of a community that believes in us. Dr. John Avendano, the school's president, celebrated the deployment alongside JTA CEO Nat Ford and Joe Moy, CEO of Beep, the shuttle supplier. It is the future and it is here. And think about how cool it is to have a self-driving vehicle transporting students back and forth to different areas across our campus. We're moving a bit closer to that future with this launch on the FSCJ campus. We're getting much closer to that future with a great deal of mobility excellence. This is the first Florida college campus to use autonomous vehicles. So I got a chance to ride the shuttle and since it's a pilot launch, there was an operator and we wore our seat belts. We're in autonomous mode right now. So the vehicle is operating itself. The beep vehicle has three types of sensors, high def cameras, radar and LIDAR to identify what's happening around the entire vehicle. So the autonomous vehicle can identify that it's an intersection where there is a stop sign. Yes, and part of it is part of the mapping and the programming okay. that, that you actually um, do for the vehicle. We even came across a speed bump and the sensors communicated with the vehicle to slow down. Students can start using the shuttles today. This is just the beginning, but behind the scenes, students are also learning about this technology. And preparation for real world jobs for the autonomous industry. There is still hesitation from the public about how safe AV transportation is, but Beep CEO Joe Moy has already launched in nine states and 36 different locations. JTA is looking ahead with optimism. This AV pilot will help us prepare for the big project. The Bay Street Innovation Corridor and our U2C program. Bay Street is scheduled to launch in 2025. That project will use autonomous vehicles on Bay Street by next year and could break ground in the next 60 days. Jacksonville is taking a step toward the future by becoming a part of it. Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station. And JTA paid this $322,000 project there at FSCJ. The pilot shuttle is free to students and it could expand to FSCJ's north and south campuses as well.